A very common type of problem we see in exams is having an equilateral triangle enclosed within a circle. Here, we have triangle ABC enclosed within this circle. Triangle ABC is equilateral and the circle passes through all the vertices of this triangle. The first concept we need to understand here is about the centre of the figure. The centre O is the centre of the circle as well as the triangle. Next, let's talk about OB. OB, as we can see, is the radius of the circle. Let's call it lowercase r. But there's something even more special about OB. It bisects angle ABC. As all angles of an equilateral triangle equal 60 degrees, these two will equal 30 degrees each. OK, so OB is the radius and also bisects angle ABC. Let each side of the triangle be S units long. Now listen to this very carefully. In our exams, we may be given the side of the triangle and asked to find the area of the circle. Or we may be given the radius and asked to find the perimeter of the triangle. And there are many other combinations. And to solve for anything, the only thing we really need to know is the relation between the radius of the circle and the side of the equilateral triangle. That's all. To derive a relation between them, let's draw a perpendicular OD from the centre onto BC. This perpendicular bisects side BC. BD and DC both will equal S by 2 units. Deriving a relation is pretty simple now. Just look at triangle OBD. It's a special triangle, a 30-60-90 triangle. So the sides will be in the ratio 1 is to root 3 is to 2. OB is R and BD is S by 2. Using this ratio, we can now easily find the relation between R and S. The side opposite 90 degrees is R. We are interested in the side opposite 60 degrees, which is BD. If 2 corresponds to R, then what will root 3 correspond to? It will be R root 3 by 2. So BD will be R root 3 by 2. And we also know that BD is equal to S by 2. There you go. We have the relation. Multiplying both sides by 2, we get S as R root 3. This is like a super important relation. In a figure where a circle passes through the three vertices of an equilateral triangle, its sides will equal root 3 times the radius. Let's look at a typical problem that we may come across. We are given that ABC is equilateral and a circle passes through all three vertices of this triangle. We are given the area of the circle as 16 pi and we are expected to find the perimeter of the triangle ABC. OK, let's think. To find the perimeter, we just need the length of one side of the triangle as it is equilateral. Now how do we get the side? We just looked at a relation between the radius of the circle and the side of this equilateral triangle. So if we are able to find the radius of the circle, we can easily find the side which in turn will give us the perimeter. And guess what? We have the area of the circle and that will give us the radius. If we assume the radius to be r, then we can say that pi r squared will equal 16 pi. Solving this, we get the value of r as 4 units. The relation we had looked at was s is equal to r root 3. So the length of the side of the triangle will be 4 root 3 units. As the triangle is equilateral, the perimeter will be thrice the side, which is 12 root 3 units. Area of the circle to its radius, radius to the side and side to the perimeter. So with respect to this figure, remember a few simple things. If you are given any of these, you can find any of these. If you know the area of the circle, you can find the height of the triangle or if you know the circumference of the circle, you can find the side of the triangle. And also, if you are given any of these, 
You can find any of these. Trust me, this is interesting. You can even form your own example to try it out. Make an equilateral triangle, form a circle around it and with any of these given, try finding out the others. And with any one of these given, find the others.